The thing that drives our practice is looking at buildings and projects from the inside out. What I'm passionate about is creating places that create an armature for experience. I spend most of my time working on conceptual approaches to design and try and create those elements that you're going to build the design around. And that's really what we try to do in architecture. Spectacle grew out of a number of ideas that were influencing my thinking. The book began as a research project into what about places as that are successful. As our world is more and more connected through virtual technology, I see a growing need for places to have a live shared experience. What's the language of big events? Spectrums are big, bold, and brief, and they do three things. They connect, they transform, and they immerse. As a designer, what I wanted to do was hold a lens up to a largely unexplored world of real-time, participatory, live, man-made events. Even though I spoke to 20 very diverse uh, big-picture thinkers, there were certain things that were common messages that they agreed upon. And one of them is the kind of innate human need for participation in the sense at an event that you're belonging to something bigger than yourself. So that was the journey of the book. From my beginning in architecture, I was interested in theater. The National Building Museum was very fortunate that Rockwell Group agreed to apply their wealth of talent toward creating a vision for a new Globe Theater. What I found fascinating about re-looking at the old Globe and, and thinking about what would we take from that experience for a new model that was inspired by it had less to do with architecture and had nothing to do with materials. It had all to do with relationship and the fact that you weren't coming to the theater just for a two and a half hour experience. Um, I was fascinated with the idea of a building as a tunable instrument by making the building mobile and using uh, scaffolding ordinary material that part of the event of the theater would be the setup of the theater so that there was a sense of event of the building coming to town that would build interest and build momentum and create a, a sense of occasion um, for the actual performance piece. Uh, I also felt that by using a modular system that had three levels, those three levels when the building is open, face out. So you get kind of the best of facing in and facing out, but you get to transform that. So throughout the course of the day, you could use the building for a music festival facing out, but when it's time for the performance, that building can close up and totally focus internally to create the kind of intimate relationship that allows people to have a real strong, visceral connection to the building. It's interesting to have an opportunity to think about the old glow because storytelling is really about a relationship. If there's not someone listening to the story and someone telling the story, there's not a relationship. And we think of a lot of the work we do is forming the relationship between an audience and a performer. We started the process by analyzing what we refer to as jet blueness. And jet blueness to us meant usefulness with a sense of style. So there couldn't be any design element that wasn't driven by usefulness. We married that with New Yorkness, since it's at JFK, and the sense of celebration that is so absent from most airports. And then the third uh, kind of breakthrough element of the JetBlue terminal was bringing in a choreographer. I was convinced that if we dealt with intuitive signage an intuitive movement, you could actually use that movement to create urban theater. And this is an animation of coming into the terminal. These two urban bleachers, one will have a small museum exhibition space that'll be related to museum in New York, the other one will have music. And the cable structure supports a single LED piece that gives you all the flight information you could possibly need 
and here you're arriving into the city underneath that arch. You know, after 23 years of working with an enormously talented group, I think we have good instincts about places that will create um, opportunities for surprise and delight. My interest is in creating these opportunities for engagement, emotional engagement, and it's been an amazing um, journey to take that point of view from project type to project type and continue to grow and, and transform. The one thing that I think has been quite strategic is always finding ways to step out of the box and find a new way to look at design and to continue to um, be inspired by things around us.